Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to your pick a deck, pick a card reading. This is exciting. We're doing something a little bit different today, okay? So it's good to see all of you. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. This is fun and exciting. It is a general reading. And if you want something more specific, you should inquire about booking a personal reading with me and all that information is below. All right, shout out to all my members, all my Patreoners. Thank you guys for your love and support. Thank you to everybody that's donated to this channel. And thank you to everybody that's given positive energy here. I love you guys. So don't forget to like the video if it resonates. We're gonna be looking at two different decks here. So we have the Radiant Wise Spirit deck and we have the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Tarot deck. So Buffy's gonna be number one, deck number one. And number two is gonna be the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck, okay? So whichever one of these is calling to you, whichever one of these uh, you feel more drawn to, um, that'll be the one that you will pick, all right? So I'll have timestamps in the description for you for pile one, okay? And then for pile two, all right? So pile one is Buffy the Vampire Slayer Tower deck. Pile two is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tower, okay? So I'll give you a few seconds so you can meditate on the decks and see um, which one of these you feel more drawn to. Beautiful. All right. So let's get started with pile number one, Buffy the Vampire Solaire. So this basically is, that's the Buffy theme song. This basically is a how they feel about you reading and what they tell people about you. Okay. So let's see here what comes out. Oh, hi oven. King of Pentacles popped out. So there may be a few of you that are dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn, or that could be your sign. All right, so let's see here. What does this person tell people about you? What does this person tell people about you, pal number one? Some of you, this is somebody you met online. This could be like an online connection for a few of you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. And thank you, ancestors, for being here with us. What does this person tell people about you? King of Pentacles is back. It's in reverse. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, very earthy. Page of Swords in reverse, Judgment in reverse. I mean, Judgment upright. Hmm. Hmm. It's a lot of people involved here in this connection. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like there's somebody around this person that don't like you. Like there's somebody, they talk to this person about you they not give that your person is not saying bad things about you i feel like there's somebody around them that doesn't like you and 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 discourages and doesn't like this connection what does this person tell people about you some of you they tell people that you're a hard worker somebody could be in the military justice in reverse okay you may have somebody here Hold on, let me pull all the cards. The star. The seven of wands in reverse, the four of wands in reverse. Whoever this is, they wanna, they wanna deal with you again or they're not like over you. Like they tell people, <laughs> three of swords. They tell people that there's, they're holding on to you with the four of pentacles here. Okay, um, they tell people, some of you, they tell people that you hurt them with the three of swords being here. They tell people that you hurt them. You broke their heart in some way. Um, this could be an Aquarius, a Libra, whoever this is. They spy on you a lot too. They like watching social media and stuff. I'm seeing fake pages for some of you. Like they may have a fake page so they don't, cause they don't want you to think they're thirsty creeping. So they're like, oh, well you can think of the fake page. Some of you, they tell people you're a little materialistic. That's not for everybody. Somebody's name, Man, um, Mandy, Amanda, Riley, Amy. I'm seeing Kendra, Angel, Joyce. Somebody's last name could be Woods. Somebody could be a principal. 
Um, somebody's a cheerleader or plays basketball or something like that too, I'm seeing. Um, somebody works in a morgue or something like that. What the hell? I mean, I'm not saying it like that, but <laughs> that's, that's a creepy job. All right, so let's keep going. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Somebody tells people that you're a hard worker. Like, whatever you do for your job, like, it shows. Yeah, you're a hard worker. And they feel like you still have a lot more to accomplish. They tell people that you're going to go far. Like, this is just the beginning for whatever you do in your career. Like, this is just the beginning for you. You're about to, like, start a whole new chapter in your life. They tell people they're extremely attracted to you. Something about your body Okay, like some of you, I don't know, I just saw boobs. So I don't know if somebody got really nice boobs and I just saw a female's like a hip section. Like somebody could be hippie or have like a Coke bottle shape. So they may like show your like pictures to their friends and stuff like that, like showing off your body because they really like your body shape, your body type or your figure. Right, and I didn't even see the, the camera stop recording. That was weird. Um, let's see the page of Pentacles. I hope y'all heard what I said last. What I said was, they're very attracted to your body, so I hope y'all caught that. Um, I was saying if you're a lady, something about your hips and your breasts or something, and if you're a masculine energy, if you're a male, like something about your arms, your biceps, or like you may have abs or something like that. I do feel like this person, uh, for a lot of you, they're showing people pictures of you. What's this page of pentacles? Yeah, queen of wands again. Yeah, they tell people something about your body they talk about you a lot with the three of cups and the three of pentacles. They talk to their employees, like people that work about you. And they even talk, to, talk about you to like their friends. Some of you are like in school or something and they like brag about that. Like you're in school for something. Um, they really like your physical appearance. I'm not going to lie. Um, some of you, they, I don't know who this is. This isn't for everybody. They tell people that you party too much. <laughs> like you be out too much. Like... <laughs> I don't know who that is, but they tell people that you be out. I don't know if you go to parties a lot or you just be socializing a lot. They don't really like that. What's the page of swords in reverse? Because I feel like you have one person here that talks really good about you. And I feel like you have somebody else here that talks bad about you. What is this page of swords in reverse? Yeah, there's somebody else here, a war, uh, air sign for some of you an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they talk bad about you. They mad that you have like options and this person is mad that you didn't come back to them. So this could be like an X or something like that with the tower in reverse that just never got over you. Could be a Scorpio. Shout out to all the Scorpios. But this is like an X that knows there's no way in hell that you would come back to them because you know that there's better options out there with the seven of cups. And this person don't like that. So to retaliate, they talk shit about you, right? Two of Pentacles here, Eight of Pentacles. And I don't know who this is that be trying to talk bad about you. They can't. Like they try to talk about your job or what you do for work or something like that or your money. But you get money. You work hard. Some of y'all got two jobs. I'm seeing somebody that's... You know what I mean? Working their ass off because I'm being drawn to this Two of Pentacles. And this is um, this episode of Buffy when she works at the Double Meat Palace. And she's like busting her ass because she has to pay for, for the house. So she was working like nonstop. So some of you, whoever I'm connecting to, you are a hard worker. And this person, whoever this person is that be trying to talk bad about you, they're jealous of that. And they're also jealous that or mad that you keep to yourself. So this person could be telling people that you are into the metaphysical, that you're very intuitive, right? What's this justice in reverse? There is somebody that didn't do right by you and they tell people that. They tell people that they know they didn't do right by you and they owe you an apology and they're gonna give it to you one day because they feel bad for how they treated you. This person may come off like they don't care, but that's not true could be a Libra. It's somebody that did you wrong, okay? They could have even been something involved with the court system and they feel bad about it. And I see them wanting, to, I see them telling people like they want to apologize to you, but maybe somebody's telling them to wait or they're just trying to wait for some reason. Let me get another card on this person. 
yeah oh this is an ex it could be a friend for some of you it could be a friend it doesn't have to be an ex but i feel like it's somebody you were involved with a lot of you and i feel like they're gonna message you they miss they tell people that you were fun y'all used to have fun together like you're you were exciting something about you helped this person with a fashion the way they dress or something They did something wrong to you. So you have people here also saying that like you're a star. Yeah, like you're like a celebrity or you're like a star or you get a lot of attention. Like there's somebody here that love you and they really, they they stick by that love for you. It could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or Scorpio, right? And they tell people they love you. Like they are out about it. Like some of y'all, this could be somebody like newish. Not super duper new, but like somebody within the last year or six months and they tell people like they love you, like you're a star, like they know that you're gonna go far. It might be this other person we were talking about earlier. There's somebody here that tells people that you gave up on them. Who is this? The lovers, Oops, could be a Gemini. There's somebody that feels like, some of you, there's somebody that feels like you gave up on them because you wanted somebody with more money. And they may be telling people that you're like a groupie or something like that, or you just, you're a gold digger, but that's not true. This person is just unhappy that you didn't choose them. They still feel a strong soulmate connection with you. The lovers, but they feel like you gave up on them. They tell people you gave up on this connection because you wanted somebody with more money or more status or something like that. Can I get one more card on this person? Wow. The Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like you moved on from whoever this is. They tell people that you moved on from them and y'all still have this soulmate connection. But they feel like for some of you, something about their money or their status. Mm -hmm. There's somebody some of y'all used to live with, right? What they tell people about you, the death in reverse, that they not over you. Could be a Scorpio, Empress. So some of y'all, there's somebody you used to live with and they like, some of y'all may have a child with this person with the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. They tell people that they still, um, they're not over you. They're not over you. Um, this person may have not really been able to like attract another solid connection with anybody after you. Somebody's a singer. What is this? Who is this person that tells people that you hurt them? The Nine of, nine of Wands. Seeing the name Tara, um, Six of Wands in reverse. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ooh, this is somebody that feels like you hurt them. This could be a Sagittarius. They feel like a failure. Um, I wonder if this is that same person that feels like you didn't, you left, you gave up on them because of their status. Because this could be the same person that feels like you gave up on them because of their status or they feel like they didn't make enough money or they wasn't good enough for you or they wasn't famous famous enough or popular enough for you or something like that. But whoever this is, they really sad over this situation. Let me get another card on this person. The emperor. It could be an Aries for some of you. Some of y'all, this your child's father or your child's mother. They're just really, really hurt. They tell people that they're hurt, like, that you hurt them, the situation hurt them. What about the person that's holding on to you? The Ten of Swords in reverse. Eight of, so whoever this is that's been holding on to you, Eight of Cups in reverse, Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is clearly somebody that wants to work on things with you. They tell people that they're going to heal this connection some way, somehow with you. Um, that they don't think that you've walked away from them either, that you still have feelings for them. And um, they tell people something about your work. Some of y'all, you're very popular in your job. I just heard model. Um, I don't know why I just heard public speaker, um, influencer, uh, technician, some type of technician. Whatever you do, something about your job and they, they brag about you. This could be that same person from back here. But they tell people that they're gonna work on this. They're gonna heal this with you. They don't care that it's never over with you. Like, they tell people that they're gonna come back. That's how true it is, right? Who is that king of, yeah, 10 of cups in reverse. Some of y'all, some of y'all, this person's family don't like you. Like, there was issues with this person's family. But look, this person don't care. With the sun could be a Leo. They feel like you make them really happy. 
right? I'm getting there was an issue with kids for some of you. Like maybe somebody can't have a child or somebody don't want no more kids. And it's like, this person don't even care. Somebody may want to adopt or something. What is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Who is this? The devil in reverse. Capricorn energy and the sun with the nine of swords in reverse. <laughs> I feel like this is somebody here. This might be that person that we picked up on earlier that was talking negative about you. Um, the past lover. I feel like this past lover is mad because you're happy without them. And you, they don't got you no more with the devil. Maybe this is somebody that had you at one point. Like they call you, you come running like could be a leo for some of you or a capricorn but this person they they tell people that they try to act like they they tell people that they're happy without you but that's not true this person could have um taken some type of financial fall after they stopped dealing with you it's like whoever this is they try to get your attention and make you think that they good da, 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 but that's not true so i feel like what does this person tell people about you Some of y'all work like outside, somewhere hot, the hermit. You see what I'm saying? They tell people that you acted funny, could be a Virgo, like you distanced yourself from them. This person is mad because you took your power back and they were toxic and you, you don't deal with them anymore. You're happier without them. Some of y'all with the magician in reverse could be a Gemini. This person could tell people that you do black magic. They could be trying to throw like lies on you, like, Oh, especially if they know you into the metaphysical, they telling people that the way you got money, you got money by doing like manipulative things or like some of y'all, they even lied and say you was a con artist or something. Like if you came up on money, this person, whoever this past lover is, they trying to make it seem like you did some underground shit. Like, and that's not even true. But for some of you, they think like, like they tell people that you in the black magic or something like that. Yeah. All right. So, wow. What a reading. That's what I got for you, pal one. <laughs> wow. That was a good one. If this resonated, <laughs> make sure you guys hit that like button. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think of this style reading and we will keep them coming. All right. So thank you, pal one. Like I said, if you guys want to book a reading with me, something more specific, you can email misshawaiireadings at gmail.com. Okay. We will get you booked for a personal reading. All right. Um, Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. All right. The name is Miss Hawaii Tarot. And thank you to everybody that tuned in. I love you and have a blessed week. Let's go to Pile 2. All right, Pile 2. You chose the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. So let's see. What does this person tell people about you? And thank you all for being here. Let me relight the sage for you this power one's reading was kind of cray cray just a little bit not too bad so let's see i don't know i feel like yours gonna be juicier i don't know why i feel like yours gonna be juicier than power one i don't know why but let's see what does this person tell people about you <laughs> some of y'all dealing with an aries What does this person tell people about you? Somebody rides a motorcycle. I don't know why, I just heard, they heard Harley Davidson. Hmm. Maybe somebody's name is Harley or David. Okay, that tried to pop out. Let's see, what does this person tell people about you, pal number two? What does this person tell people about you, pal number two? What do they tell people about you? Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. And thank you, ancestors. Ooh, the five of pentacles. <laughs> Ooh, the six of cups in reverse. The hangman. Some of y'all, this is a Pisces. Four of swords. Queen of pentacles in reverse. Knight of Wands, the Hermit. Somebody really tell people that you you switched up on them. I don't know who this is, but I'm getting you switched up on them. Whoever this is, they tell people that you ghosted them or 
Six of Pentacles on the bottom. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Let's try to let's try to break this down. Some of y'all, somebody tell people that y'all got money. Like you're doing well for yourself financially. Like, okay, that's the first message I'm getting. But there's definitely somebody here from your past here that tells people that you don't want nothing to do with them. You completely shut them out. Um, you don't want, you completely let them go. Um, they tell people that, that you kind of made them feel like there's no way back in. Um, they tell people that you're very attractive with the Knight of Wands. Um, you're very spontaneous. You could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Um, something about your money, like you get money or something, or people give you money or something like that. With the hermit, Virgo energy there, this person feels like you, they tell people that you stay to yourself. Um, let's dig deeper. Why the five of pentacles? Why is this person telling people the five of pentacles? The king of wands in reverse. Oh my God, the three of swords with the ace of cups. So this person tells people that you have, you don't want them, that you have somebody new, that you have somebody new, three of swords here. This person feel hurt. They feel hurt. They tell people that they hurt. They don't like being distant, distant from you. Like it irritates them. Like this person could have a temper or something. Heavy fire energy for this person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They tell people, some of y'all, they tell people that you ghosted them because of a third party or you stopped fucking with them because of a third party situation or because they hurt you. Like, I just heard one final last time. Some of y'all, this person cheated on you or they weren't faithful towards you. They stepped to you with some player play at energy and they hurt you and you distance yourself. And this person tells people that. I mean, that's the truth. They tell people they still have a lot of love for you. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse? They tell people they can't like let you go with the Six of Cups in reverse, like something about them being unable to kind of let go of the past. Emperor in reverse, could be an Aries for some of you. Death in reverse, Scorpio energy. So they definitely tell people that they can't let you go. They don't really know how to let you go. This person is coming off kind of possessive. Um, they tell people that you and them have some bad memories from the past. Somebody's born on the second, the fourth, um, the 12th and the 6th. But yeah, they tell people that um, some of y'all, this person wasn't faithful to you in the past. They were juggling you and somebody else or other people. Why is the hanging in here? Four of Wands. Nine of Swords in reverse and the Empress in reverse. Some of y'all, this person's mother don't like you or something like that. Or they may have like a baby mother that don't like you, that can't stand you or something like that with the Empress in reverse. Um, the hangman here. Something about you seeing things differently. You seeing love differently. You see them differently. Let me see, what is the four of swords here? The Knight of Cups. Ooh, the, yeah. Some of y'all, something definitely happened with a third party, pile number two. This person tells people that they still in love with you, like with the Knight of Cups, and that they're going to make you some type of love offer, but the Three of uh, Pentacles is in reverse. So this person, there may be a third party thing here. There's somebody around this person, though. I feel like this person tells people that you don't want to be bothered right now with the three of pentacles in reverse. Like you, you're not open to trying to build nothing or rebuild anything right now with them. Some of y'all, this person tells people that you're very romantic. You're very charming. You could be a water sign. You could be a Cancer, a Pisces or Scorpio. Um, I don't know. I'm hearing something about poetry. I feel like this is somebody that you had a very painful ending with, with the Ten of Swords. 
What is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? This person tells people that you bought your money, you bought your bread. <laughs> like, that's really all you see. Like, and if nothing else is, if it ain't about the money, you ain't up in it. For some of you, especially my Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns, they tell people that you completely over them, that you're not sad about them, you done moved on. Um, some of y'all may actually be in a relationship already or dating somebody or married and this person tells people like, why is the Knight of Wands here? Queen of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. See? This person tells people that you don't love them anymore. That you don't want to talk to them. You don't love them anymore. Um, they're not sure, you know, how you feel. Like, mm. this person could have put you through a lot emotionally. And they see that. Maybe they, they, they express that. If you're a masculine energy, this person tells people you have a nice penis. Like, it's it's a nice shape. It's a nice length. All of that. <laughs> they may tell people that if you're a masculine energy. If you're a female or a feminine energy, maybe they're saying you got a pretty coochie. What is this hermit? They tell people that you stay to yourself. Ace of Cups. This person really thinks that you have new love. That you're with somebody else. This person thinks that you got somebody. Like some of y'all, you may have somebody and that that's, that's what they're telling people. That's the reason why you distant because you got somebody else. Mm, six of wands. They tell people that you get a lot of attention. Like some of y'all could be in the public eye or something like that or famous or just popular. They tell people that, but you just stay to yourself. The magician is in reverse. So some of you, they may tell people that you have a manipulative side to you. They may tell people that you're in a tarot. Some of you, they tell people you like to travel a lot. Somebody likes to travel here. Sagittarian energy. This person may tell people that somebody likes to drink or somebody could be like a bartender or something like that. Somebody's a flight attendant too, I'm seeing, or a pilot as well. So they may tell people that. Um, somebody lives in the South, like, seeing a farm maybe somebody like lives on a farm or lived on a farm and this person may talk about that um or by a lake i'm seeing somebody by a lake these people t this person tells people that you're very intuitive like you're very connected they tell people that you were that their most peaceful time in their life was being with you like that was when they had the most peace in their life with temperance they tell people you and them just kind of mesh together very well you guys make a good match. They tell people also that you and them could actually be a power couple. Y'all could have something. They And they also let people know, like, they think that for some of you, you and this person, they tell people, like, I don't know if you knew they were going to, like, y'all were going to get married for some of you. Like, I'm seeing something like a ring. So I don't know if somebody was going to propose to you or you were going to propose to somebody. Like, something this person tells people, like, you and them were going to, were supposed to get me married. Like, y'all were supposed to be married. Like, have kids, like have money, like we travel in the world, like they like this is what y'all was supposed to have. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Huh. What's the six of pentacles? The sun. Some of y'all this person tells people that you travel. I keep getting something about traveling. Um, or you live somewhere really, really warm with the sun. Could be a Leo for some of you. They tell people that they really don't think that you love them no more. They tell people that they're going to like try to like, see, look, two of cups in reverse on the bottom. They tell people that they still have feelings for you, but you don't still have feelings for them. Um, how happy you make them. Some of y'all, this person might have even given you money in some way. I don't know how, like something about money. So I don't know if they like cashed at you or they paypal you some money or something or they sent you a check. Something about this person gave you money or something. But they do, they definitely tell people that they were the happiest and most emotional, emotionally stable when you were in their life, when y'all were together. Like this is definitely somebody that hurt you, four pentacles. 
they tell people that um they feel bad for something they did here with the seven of swords in reverse they want to apologize this came out for power one two something about an apology but for some of you this person want to like apologize or they just they feel bad for something they did to you or they said to you they really do and they they tell people like there's been numerous times this person has like typed up a message and was going to send it to you but they just couldn't they just couldn't see eight of pentacles in reverse they tell people that you've done a lot of self work on yourself and this person hasn't hasn't done a lot of healing. They still got way more, a lot more healing to do. But they tell people that you do a lot, you work on yourself a lot. Maybe some of you really spend a lot of money on yourself. And this person tells people that, like you pamper yourself. And they really admire that for some of you. Some of y'all, this person tells people you have like a child side to you with the page of cups. Like you have this little innocent, sweet side to you. And some of y'all, they tell people that you're very, very psychic. Like you're very intuitive. And a few of you, they tell people like they regret not having a child with you. Like if you don't have a kid with this person, like they really regret it. Like they, they feel like they should have had a child with you. They tell people like the child would have been beautiful. I'm seeing something about like a miscarriage or an abortion. That could have happened for some of you. I'm sorry to hear that between you and this person. Some of y'all, they tell people you remind them of their mother or their father or something like that. And that's why they really are drawn to you. Like you... You remind them of their mother or their father. Somebody's parent could be passed away, but could have passed away. They tell people that they have like no type of strength when it comes to you. Like they don't have no type of control when it comes to you. Mm. Deep. Deep. All right. So that's what I have for you, pal number two. Wow. These, these were interesting messages. All right. I love you guys. Um, that's what I have for you. I hope some of that resonated. If it did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share, tell a friend, all that good stuff. And thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys like these types of reads, let me know in the comments and I will keep them coming for y'all because I am here to serve y'all. I love you guys. All right. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful week. Be blessed. Be well. Eat your fruits. Eat your vegetables. Drink your water. Make sure that you meditate, burn your sage, and pray. And I will see you guys on the next one. I love you guys. Be blessed. Bye.